braided lords of Celtis surrender shoulders. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glavegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west, and the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secured. The Sky Islands, careful. Ever I'm being careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the wound That's not a word. Earth yawned wide as he spoke, declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn. You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But. Mine, but I am not. No, but I am not the man content to simply wonder. I am. I'm wondering every third word. I'm distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about R.C. Norman. Hold it off. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Luna! Over here, Jack. I provided moral support. No. Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. Feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. No one's using the cargo lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? It's pretty rude, if you ask me. Message? Sandrak's just an asshole. He had them beat. Why would he- To send a message. That's the whole thing we're talking about. What, like surrender to Rasharn and we'll only slaughter a few of you? Can't make omelets, Jack. What's an omelet? Never mind. Let's cut through the mine. Okay. Sure, but let's keep an eye out for the constables. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds... made up. gonna tell them? Maybe. I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. Oh, 
Oh. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We- I've got an idea. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the Lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Ever War. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Ever War. I want to fight for Lucium. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. ship you off to fight in the Ever War, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows, maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like... Pew, pew, pew. A Magnus is like... Pow! Bing! Brrr! I mean, it's not even a contest. <sighs> yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic as far as the Magnus is concerned. Smell Fife stew from here. I'm pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> We're home. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning. And that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out at the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh no. You're not eating that. Shoo. Sure probably wise. Stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us? 
Shut up, you. What do you put into stew when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. Want to try it? And? <coughs> it's the snails that really seal the deal. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters, adding them to my scrapbook. Wanna see? Sure. But what's with you stealing posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Join the fight. No thanks. This propaganda is going to rot your brain. Is that what happened to Luna? Brain rot? Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? Yes, sir. No one escapes the draft, Babs. Plus, I really think Luna believes it's the right thing to do. Why is finding the Evil the right thing to do? Look, I never said it was. And you better not tell Luna I said anything. She pretty much thinks I already have. told him. I did not. Well, something's got them all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights Army Regulations. See? No way that'd give away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab or one hundred one-foot-tall crabs? The day may come. Like a Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Does it matter? It's a hundred feet tall. Then fine. The hundred foot tall one. <laughs> Why that one? There is glory in that one. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just, just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? No, I mean it. Maintaining the grounds at the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads. Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. You, you, you know it's just going to be trenches and spell smoke, right? Night blades hacking away at everyone. Yeah, probably. All right, see you at dinner. You bet. Jack, just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner.
Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? The pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Caltus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand, let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be- Ah! Damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you- I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right. Nobleman buying all the housing in the East Nets and Harrow's Edge. That's the mark. That's, uh... That's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from Topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. Yeah, no, this, this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. You're saying something you're not saying. It's just, this kind of thing comes naturally to you. Like, it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. I promise. Those are lights on me, soldiers. Your new best friends. Funny. Looks like they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. Over there. That manor. That's where we're going. Huh. Okay, then. Game face, Jack. Yep. stuff is. What color is life magic? Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. Just look for green.
you didn't say he was a Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? <laughs> no, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Is that your definition of being careful or? Whoops. What are we gonna do with it? Wiggle at it, Caleb? Maybe. Wh what do you mean, maybe? Uh-oh. Shit, let's get out of here. Run, come on, this way. For us? Saren's being attacked! Chance they're not dead. They know what to do in a raid. We made them practice. You did. I made jokes the whole time. Feel guilty later. Ah! Ah! Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. Almost there. It's just up ahead. It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! We can make it! Jack!
You aren't done here, asshole! What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! They have names for what you are. An unforeseen. A candle of Shaled. A child of the rivers. Lucky. In this case, yes. The next time it happens, it might kill you. We're driving the Rasharnians back from Saren. But you aren't safe here anymore. They'll hunt you down. You'll need help. Jack. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. Fine. I know who you are. I've seen the posters. Join the fight. So, Jack. Are you going to? The power inside you. It comes from the ley lines. All magic in this world does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. Okay, back up. This world? That's right. There's another under this one. The Shrouded Realm. That's where magic starts. Where the ley lines pour out from. Look at them, Jack. Try to see the web they make. Do I have to close my eyes or something? Uh... No. No, not at all. Just look at that ley line there, and then let yourself see through it. Oh, they're everywhere. Yes. They cover Avium like a net, bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Ever War. Politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary 
to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost or scattered, only Lucian remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. Sandrak. More and more, he drives off forces into the wound itself, casting them down into that bottomless hole. The watching judgment of the Pentasad. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. We're almost out of time, Jack. Sandrak attacks us from all sides, and there is no place left to run. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. I'll fix that. <laughs>